This is Witchspace News for Friday the 11th of June 2021 ...I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news ...patch 3 drops ...more details emerge from an interview with Arthur Tolmy ...guides on where to find the mats for suit and weapon upgrades and Salvation speaks again but only to some commanders. To make sure you don't miss any of our videos hit like and subscribe, click the little bell icon and remember to select all notifications and to further help support the work of this channel you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to everything you need are in the description below. As promised in the roadmap last week patch 3 for Odyssey dropped into the game on Thursday bringing with it a swathe of fixes for the formerly very wobbly ...now not quite so wobbly but still somewhat wobbly expansion. We're not out of Wobbleville Alabama yet but we can definitely see the shining spires of Stables Town in the middle distance. As with the previous patches the list of fixes, improvements and optimizations is fairly extensive. By far the biggest section in the patch notes covers the various UIs in the game but also server, audio, stability, lighting and settlements have significant entries to ramble through. It's worth a read if you're looking to kill a couple of minutes while necking a fresh cup of tea and single handedly saving the world from a packet of biscuits. As we reported earlier this week the team have promised that if next week weeks patch goes as planned it should see some significant optimizations to frames per second so watch out for that if your rig is still struggling. Frontiers lead community manager Arthur Tolmy was interviewed on Lave Radio this week and once more Frontiers promise of more transparent communication was evident again. I've linked below to the full show archive on YouTube but there's also some clips on Twitch where Arthur again reiterates that right now ship interiors are not being worked on. An uncomfortable answer for some players ...not what some players would like to hear but it is an answer. During the interview he also casually dropped in that the game sees around 70,000 players pass through it every day. We've seen player numbers confirmed by Frontiers official stockbroker before that put monthly individual player numbers prior to the Odyssey launch at around 500,000 ...but to my knowledge that's the first time anyone at Frontier has actually given an indication of how many people play Elite ...certainly in recent times anyway. As part of the promise of better communication overall FDev had promised to have a dedicated community manager on the forums every day and true to their word that has happened. There has been a large and very noticeable upsurge in the number of constant replies and comments from Frontier CMs hitting the forum. Just one quick note Arthur did say on a live stream this week that the company will be delivering a big update to the community at the end of June that will tell the player base quote what is going on unquote. We're assuming that means what is happening with Odyssey going forwards. Will we see content drops to it or seasons in some regard? At this point we have no idea. Here at the pit a lot of the faith we have in Elite and the franchise going forward is predominantly based on leaks from inside the company and from what hackers and data miners have managed to determine from digging into the code ...not from announcements from Frontier which to be honest speaks volumes about the company's communication policy up to this point. Right now the player base is running on a large dose of faith rather than hard facts ...faith in Frontier and the Elite franchise that says we'll probably see content updates or mini expansions similar to the Beyond updates that came to the Horizons expansion. If the new era of more open communication is to be truly successful the company has to do a better job of managing expectations rather than letting community speculation run rampant and then struggling to deal with the inevitable wave of disappointment when ...insert much requested feature here is not included as part of an update. Arthur has casually mentioned that new features are coming to Odyssey. What size or shape those new features take is ...right now at least unknown. We'll see what the end of June brings. If like us you're still just starting out on the road to upgrading and engineering your suits and weapons in Odyssey then the ever vigilant and proactive Elite Dangerous community is sweeping in to rescue your overloaded mind with a bargain bucket of freshly cooked and sizzling guides and tools 
to carry you across the glass laden path to space legs dominance. Down to Earth Astronomy has put together an invaluable video guide with accompanying spreadsheet that will detail what materials of the myriad of random bits and bobs you can gather when strip mining a settlement bear you should actually keep and what you should sell. Hawks Gaming has a great video tutorial on scavenging planetary signal sources for significant profit as well as invaluable materials and just about everyone's favourite Elite Dangerous engineering tool the Omni Clever ED Engineer now supports Odyssey's new generation of suit and weapon engineering. Links to everything here are of course in the description below this video. The servers returned after their regular recycle this Thursday and a new message appeared in the inbox of some commanders in the game from the individual calling themselves Salvation. The message didn't appear for everyone however, just certain commanders that completed a previous step or steps for the shadowy self proclaimed saviour of humanity. That doesn't however mean that you can't participate in the chase that is currently underway in the game to uncover the next chapter in what Frontier are calling the Azimuth storyline. A story that began on Halloween last year when the Adamaster megaship arrived in the Chukchan system having been lost in space for 200 years. Without giving spoilers, the latest thread being pulled out by the community concerns what fate may have befallen any survivors of the Azimuth biochemicals vessel and Adamaster's sister ship, the Hesperus. If you want to get involved in what is currently a huge platform wide community search or maybe just monitor what happens and then take a look for yourself I've linked to a forum thread below. So have you started engineering your Odyssey kit or are you perhaps joining in the search to learn the fate of the Hesperus survivors? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with another video. Until then ….o7 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.